up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2013 bmw 328i convertible with only 34,000 miles loaded up with factory navigation heated seats power top dual power seats with memory on the driver's side has this beautiful saddle leather interior it has a clean title and also qualifies for carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty we're located at 3071 Northwest 107th Avenue in Doral, Florida, which is the same thing as Miami. 33172 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 32,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. The car has also four brand new tires that we just installed. I got Julio helping us out here. He's going to show us how the power top works. So I'm going to back off a little bit here, and then I'll get inside the car and show you the interior options. All right, for the first, first, uh, hold down the button. The windows go down. A little closer here so you can see how it works. Tucks in nicely to the trunk area, and when it closes, it, it hides away completely the um, the top option there. All right, perfect. Thank you, Julio. And now uh, we got the car running right now, so let's go ahead and get inside, show you the interior options. And again, it's got the it's got the beautiful uh, saddle interior, would look really really sharp on the uh, pearl white interior. This is a four seater, two in the front and two in the back. The door panels are the same as in the seating. It's got the uh, saddle with the black in the top, the wood trimming down here. You got a little bit of storage here and uh, more storage here that kind of pops out. Of course, you got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, a uh, manual tilt wheel, cruise control, automatic headlights that come out of sunset and come off the of sunrise, fog lights. Like I said before, you got a uh, power seat, power recliner, and you got memory for up to two drivers. Before I sit down, let me panel the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape. Without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere. Burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headline, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke. So it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. Back here, um, you got cup holders in your center, a little storage, and you got AC vents and an ashtray back there. As well as you also got our courtesy lighting. Uh, it's, it's on now because the door is open. That way you can see their, the passengers in the rear can see where they're going to sit. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, now that we're inside, all right, it's got a uh, 34,043 miles. It just turned 34,000. From from the top down, at the top you got the uh, outside temperature right now, as well as uh, current time. And on the right of the odometer is your trip odometer. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm gonna rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance soon, nothing like that. The only light that you see on there, well that's the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to um, shoot a video. There's your uh, navigation. Okay, you got heated seats, three different levels of comfort. You press it once, it goes straight to high. One more time for medium, one more time for low and press it again to turn off. You got dual climate control. See, I got the driver's side at 67, while the driver's side is at 75. And all that really does is it makes this vent over here and that vent over there blow at 75, while this one here and this one here will blow at 67 or whatever it is you set it to. All right, uh, let's go ahead and, um, okay, you got automatic transmission with a manual shifting mode, so reverse, neutral, drive. And that's how you're gonna drive it 99% of the time, but if you wanna make a shift manually, you push the lever over to the left and now you can tap up or tap down to make it shift up or shift down. Get your ashtray there, which doesn't even look like it's been used. All your controls are here, your radio, everything you control here with this little wheel over here. Let's go ahead and put on the radio. Okay. Let me go ahead and close this here menu so I, I don't know if you can see how it works here I got to find a station here but uh, I'm not gonna put on radios the radio is working and this is how you move it with a little wheel here 
up and down and when you find the station you you like you just push it down and select and that's how you're now if you want to move from FM where I'm at now you push the lever over to the left here and now you see I can move it down to go to AM or satellite or your preset stations and so on all right all right let's go ahead and put that back to navigation as we had it before and continue with the video okay on the steering wheel you do have our uh, volume controls for the stereo your voice command once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth you can answer and hang up the phone over here and this is for your uh, onboard computer over here and that's all going to display right in here and this is to navigate about your preset stations all the windows are automatic meaning one touch you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down back to up or down for that matter okay all right let's continue on here uh, you got traction control, your hazards over here, power door locks. I uh, show, already showed you you got dual climate control. I'm going to put them both down to maximum low because it's nice and um, uh, warm outside. Okay, you got your, your uh, preset stations here, your CD player over here, uh, cup holders here that pop out. Okay, there's one here and one over there that I can't reach. Uh, your main glove box is over here. And then there, I don't know if you can see it, the way in there is a USB port. Okay, you get your uh, manual uh, brake here, your power top um, switch here to open and close the top, and you got storage in here with your auxiliary input, another uh, USB, and a cigarette lighter adapter. All right, actually we're doing this uh, video underneath the tree and it's letting out leaves, so we're going to go ahead and speed it up before we get the car all full of leaves okay so um, let's go ahead to turn off the car you press the stop button you don't have to step on the brake for that to start it you do now you push in here the key push it in to release I will come around to the passenger side all right let's continue around here again uh, four-wheel disc brakes tire pressure monitoring sensors and four brand new tires just installed all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape they're not damaged or scuffed in any way they're nice and clear Go ahead and have a look in the trunk here. All right, there's your uh, trunk. Uh, now, clearly, uh, when the top is up, you have a little bit more room back here. But even with the top down, you still have a little room to tuck and stuff in there. If you live in a state that requires a front license plate, we have it. The owner's manual is here with its casing and all supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. All right, passenger side tail light, perfect shape. All right, let's go ahead and uh, have a open the door up here right front door panel and like I said before power seat power recliner on the passenger side as well not just the driver and let me get some other side of here the um, tree is letting out little leaves and parts of branches and stuff because of the wind uh, you have seat side airbags and you can move the seat by pressing this button over here and then to get back there you would lift this here All right, uh, before we conclude this video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right at the uh, top of the page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at VehicleMax.net. And to remind you, if you have any questions, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. My name is George.